in this part and the next part of a video series of a category or in the playlist titled Calculating Parameters for the HMS Model. We will explain the method of calculating and preparing the different parameters for the different implementation methods in the HEC HMS program which includes loose method, canopy method, surface method, and other methods. In the case of gridded and non-gridded data using the ArcMap program. Note the method of calculating some parameters in this part will be done on the two layers for land cover and soil type for the study area. As for the other parameters, they will be calculated using the subbasin 1 layer in the case of gridded and non gridded data of the basin. Now we go to the arc map and after we have implemented the commands of the fourth menu from head view HMS menu bar titled characteristics and before implementing the commands of the fifth menu titled parameters We prepare and calculate the parameters required by the project where in the, in the parameters menu we need to calculate sub-basin parameters from raster and to prepare these parameters and before implementing the commands of the parameters menu we prepare and calculate the parameters required by the project where the preparation and calculate and calculation of parameters include the following cases or method. As we mentioned, to calculate and prepare these parameters, we need subbase in one layer and also we need the land cover and soil layers for the study area and these two layers exist in the following path as we see And these two layers exist in this file titled CN where we copy it and we transfer it to the desktop via paste and this is file entitled CN and in it there is a land use file which contains a globe cover UAGS LULC 2009 version 2.3 color file and in it 
the layer that we need is inside the laser that land cover file where we copy this file and transfer it to the desktop via paste and this is the file entitled laser zap land cover and we also need to open this file titled globe cover 2009-legend.xls and we have a globe cover 2009 legend And we also need to open this file titled usgs-wlc.pdf And in it we go to the classification codes according to Anderson And we also need the soil type layer, which is inside the soil type file, then inside the laser zap soil type DSMW shapefile UTM file, where we copy this file and transfer it to the desktop via paste. And this is the file entitled Laser Zap Soil Type GSMW Shape File UTM. Then we have Soil Type Layer and Land Use Layer. And we have the Globe Cover 2009 Legion. And we have the classification codes according to Anderson where we will use all these files and layers in calculating and preparing the parameters in the following cases or methods. Where we go to the arc map and we start calculating the parameters of the first method, which is simple canopy method. Where we open the land use layer. by add data then we go to the following path this is top laser zap land cover then we add this layer then this layer is added to the project where we open the table of this layer And in it, there is a value field which contains the land uses numbers of globe cover 2009 and a LU code field which contains the land uses numbers of the classification codes according to Anderson
the first parameter that we need in the simple canopy method is max storage or max canopy where we go to the table options then add that add add field and we choose the type which is double and we type the name which is max canopy then okay and we add the second parameter that we need in the simple canopy method which is a group ratio where we go to the table options then add field and we choose the type which is double and we type the name which is a group ratio Then OK. As for the third parameter that we need in the simple canopy method, which is initial canopy, and its value is usually taken as zero or any other number and it is added to the HMS program HEC HMS program and we do not calculate it here in this table To calculate the first parameter, which is max canopy, we go to the word file titled Calculating Parameters for the HMS Model, where the first method is simple canopy method or a graded simple canopy method it includes the following parameters a initial canopy storage it is an initial condition input that represents the percent of the max canopy storage filled at the beginning of the simulation as an initial value we propose to start the simulation after a no rainfall period which make a value of 0% appropriate this assumption should be respect in the choice of the simulation period 
later in the hydrologic modeling. B. Max canopy storage. A formalism parameter representing the maximum depth of water that can be intercepted by vegetation. The initial value is estimated by using the SES land use map of the basin and the suggested values as in the next table where this table includes the values of max canopy storage in millimeter according to type of vegetation and SCS land use class the third parameter C is a group ratio in this method for example in this table we have land use number 14 in the value field which represent here in the globe cover 2009 the rain fed group lands where in this table the appropriate value of max canopy storage for the land use number 14 is 1.27 which is in the type of vegetation represent the species of vegetation is not directly known and in SCS land use class represent the small grain straight row and good condition where we go to the arc map and we go to the editor then start editing and we choose the land use layer then ok then we go to the first line of the max canopy field and we type 1.27 then we continue to enter the rest of the values in the max canopy field in the same way taking into account the selection of the appropriate value according to the land use land uses numbers as we see
then we go to the second parameter that we need in the simple canopy method which is a group ratio and the values of this parameter are between 0 and 1 and to calculate this parameter for example in this table we have the land use number 14 in the value field which represent here in the globe cover 2009 the fit group lands and for this land use number 14 we choose 0.25 for a group ratio then we continue to enter the rest of the values in the group ratio field in the same way taking into account the selection of the appropriate value according to the land uses numbers as we see
Thus, we had finished calculating and preparing the parameters that we need in the simple canopy method and they are max canopy and the group ratio and as we say, the initial canopy value is usually taken as zero or any other number and it is added in the head HMS program and we do not calculate it here in this table. Now we go to the editor, then stop editing, then yes. Now after we had finished calculating and preparing the parameters title, max canopy, and the group ratio, we make a raster map for the max canopy and the group ratio. To do so, we go to the land use layer, which is extract dash tif, and then we open our toolbox. And in our toolbox window, we go to the conversion tools. Then we go to from raster. Then we choose raster to point. In input raster, we choose extract dash tif1. In the field, we choose max canopy. And in the output point features, we specify the same location in the project file. Inside the file titled raster to point, then we type the save name. Then OK. Then save. Then OK. Then a message appears indicating that raster to point completed, then a close. Then a new shapefile layer titled raster dash extract appears which contains the values of max canopy in a grid code field now we return to the actual box window 
then to conversion tools, then to raster, and we choose point to raster, and in the input feature we choose raster dash extract, and the value field we choose a grid code, and the cell size we choose 30. In the output raster dataset, we specify the saved location and the project file where we add a new folder of name max canopy. And in it, we type the save name, which is Max Canopy. Then save. Then OK. Then a message appears indicating that point to raster completed, then close. Then a new raster layer titled Max Canopy appears which contains the values of max canopy then we make a raster layer for the group ratio by the same way of making the raster layer for the max canopy that we just implemented as and as we see
then a new raster layer titled group ratio appears which contains the values of group ratio then we save the project by pressing on save Thus, we had finished calculating and preparing the parameters that we need in the simple canopy method and they are max canopy and group ratio.